Good afternoon. This is Brett Hayworth for Siouxland Public Media News. Devastating flooding struck the northwest Iowa town of Rock Valley one month ago, and its mayor says work is underway to bring temporary housing to town. Kevin Van Otterloo said an estimated 150 houses are no longer livable. We're working hard at trying to get housing options and trailer court options. We're working on a lot of stuff and we're trying to first get the temporary housing in so people have at least a place to stay at night instead of living with all their family and stuff because that can only go on for so long. Van Otterloo said Rock Valley is still waiting to get the all clear from the federal government to start moving people into campers and trailers that are being staged at the Sioux County Fairgrounds about 10 miles away. He added that the Federal Emergency Management Agency is still assessing the damage and will decide what kind of buyout will be offered to impacted residents. It was the Rock River flooding in late June that impacted Rock Valley, and it was the Big Sioux River that impacted the Riverside neighborhood of Sioux City. A railway bridge that connected North Sioux City, South Dakota, to the Riverside area collapsed into the river as it reached a record level of 45 feet. The bridge is owned by the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, which is attempting to set some plans to remove the bridge. Railway officials are now working with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for permission to do that, and public comment on that possibility will be taken by the federal agency through August 5th. In related news, the Federal Emergency Management Agency will open another disaster recovery center on Wednesday. The new center will be in Sheldon, and FEMA has opened five others in northwest Iowa over the last three weeks. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Brett Hayworth.